In this video, I want to show you guys how to easily recreate super 8mm film effect using some overlays, editing and some color correction. But first, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Yuval and I make videos about content creation, filmmaking. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's jump in. Okay guys, so we're in Premiere Pro now and I already have my footage here. So let's start making this look like a super 8mm. So I have all of these assets over here, there's gonna be download links down in the description below. So we're gonna take this 8mm frame, we're gonna put it over our footage and we're gonna change the blending mode to darken. And there we go, we have our 8mm frame and this is just the first step. So the next thing we're gonna do is put on this old film grain so we're gonna take the frame up and put the film grain on top of our footage we're going to scale it up and we're gonna change the blending mode to screen so now you can see we have this sort of old uh, vintage Film effect, it's a little, a little too strong for me, so I'm gonna bump down the opacity, maybe somewhere around 70%, or maybe even less. Let's try 50. So, next, we're going to add this flicker overlay effect, which is just gonna give us some changes in brightness um, to emulate the 8mm effect. So, we're going to put it underneath. Frame. Let's just take it, put it over here, scale it up. And we're going to put the blending mode to soft light. So now you can see we have this flickering effect. So this layer is making footage a little bit too dark, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is just go over to our effects and search for brightness and contrast and just bump up the brightness, not too much, maybe somewhere around 22, that looks fine. And now we just want to add a little bit more grain because this Grain is not enough in my opinion, so we're going to go and grab this Super 8 film look grain. And this time I'm gonna put it actually over the frame, the 8mm frame, because I want it to have some of that grain as well. So just scale it up a little bit and put it on soft light. And this looks much better. So the next thing I want to do is just kind of lower the quality of the footage because right now it looks very sharp and very digital so I just want to change that so we're going to move these layers up create a new adjustment layer and put it over our footage and we're going to create some blur using Gaussian blur just drag that on top and we're going to set this to around 20% or so. Um, you can play around with it. So you can see that's without the blur and that's with it. So another thing that we can do to really help sell the effect is actually change um, sort of frame rate. If you look at any old footage from Super 8, you can see it's very choppy and it looks like it was shot on very low frame rates so we're going to grab this effect called posterized time 
I'm gonna put it on the adjustment layer that we just made. And the frame rate, we can go and do somewhere around 12 or so. So this is the effect that we're getting. So that's already a huge step towards replicating that 8mm look. And we have just a little bit more to do to make it even better. I want to go a little bit into color grading to give this a much nicer look. So we're gonna go to color and usually I'll just go into creative and kind of scrub through and see if there's anything that I like. Okay, so this one looks pretty good. I'm just gonna click on it and it's going to apply it and maybe I want to go a little bit higher on intensity and I want to take the highlights down a little bit take the blacks a little bit up and maybe add some exposure just a tiny bit and you can also go and play around with the color wheels maybe add some green shadows and some blue highlights and that looks pretty good obviously you can spend more time to make this as perfect as you want it to be and we're just gonna jump back into editing so just to top it all off and you don't have to do this step but I like to add some film burns I think they look pretty nice they add some flair so I have these film bands that I found online. There's going to be the link down in the description below. So I'm gonna grab some of these. Maybe start with this one. I'm gonna put it on top of everything. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. Scale it up, of course. And this is kind of the effect that we're getting. So if you want it to be um, less strong you can just change the opacity lower it down to maybe 70% or less depends on what you want to achieve so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of these so this is how it looks with the film belts So that's pretty much it, uh, we're pretty much there. You can spend obviously more time to adjust all the little things, change the positioning of the film bands, mess around with the colors more, but that's, that's basically how you do it. I would also go in and add some sound effects. That would really help as well. I'm gonna have some free links down in the description below. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, Please press the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my other videos. Also check out my Instagram page, it's atyuval 96 I upload a lot of photos there for my travels and I update daily on stories showing you what I'm shooting, what I'm editing, what I'm up to basically. So if you want to stay connected, make sure you hit me up, atyuval 96 But that's all for today, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.